Thursday is National Carousel Day, and there's a special celebration that's happening over at Balboa Park. If you've ever been to Balboa Park Carousel, chances are you've seen its iconic operator. Bill Brown has been working at the carousel for more than 50 years. He joins us now to talk more about the day. And Bill, thank you for being here at Fox 5. Well, thanks for having me, Maria. So tell us a little bit about National Carousel Day. Well, it's once a year, every July 25th, and rides are free all day long. So everyone should come down. I got to admit, the lines get a little long, so come early. It's from 11 to 5.30. Rides are free, but even though there's a little wait in line, there's a lot of entertainment. There's jugglers. There's uh, other circus performers, people on stilts. There's music. There's bands, jazz band, uh, all, kinds of, uh, all kinds of fun things for the children. There's food. There's hot dogs, ice cream, drinks. And, so a uh, real national carousel day. Yeah. Carousels all over the country every July 25th celebrate National Carousel Day. So let's let's Good talk stuff. about you and, and the carousel. This is phenomenal. You've been there since 1972. I think you started when you were a teenager, like 16 52 years, years ago. 52 years ago. You're 16 years old. So how did this all happen? Well, I used to ride when I was a kid, and I saw how much fun the guys who worked there were having. So I, I asked them, how old do you got to be? And they said 16. So as soon as I was 16, I came down and... The woman who owned the carousel at the time was in the ticket box, Virginia Long. And I asked her, how old do you have to be? And she said 16. So I came down and I said, I'm 16. And she said, well, that's great, but we don't need anyone right now. Well, give me your number and I'll call you when we do. Just like a week later, she called me because someone had quit. So I started, you know, just shortly after I was 16 and been there ever since. It's, it's a fun job. What can I tell you? you no, know, it is a fun job. You get to meet everybody. You get to yeah. see everybody enjoying themselves. Yeah. Um, talk about the carousel. If you haven't been there for a lot of viewers, you know, they don't realize um, it is historic. Like there are so many things about it that are make it unique. We're one of the few carousels that still has all the original elements. We still have the original band organ. We still have the brass ring game. Uh, if you've never been to our carousel, you should come down just to try that. Anyone can go on a carousel and ride, but very few carousels still play the brass ring game, only about a dozen. You sit on an outside animal, and as you're going around, you, you reach out, and just like uh, on the monitor, you reach out and you grab these rings, and uh, I recognize that guy in the center there. Yeah, there must he been, is. <laughs> must have been during COVID. I'm wearing a mask. But anyway, you reach out and you grab these rings, and there's a lot of iron rings and one brass ring. And the lucky person that catches the brass ring gets a free ride. So it's a lot of fun. That's you know, even better. We're watching how fast this goes. I know it's operated on some General Motors motors, if you will. But how fast does that carousel get going? Yeah, it's the original General Electric 10 horsepower motor. It goes. 13 miles an hour, which is almost twice as fast as most uh, carousels today. Um, we know it's that speed from 1910 because we still use the original motor and it's only got one speed. So we know for a fact this is how fast it went 100 years ago. So these old carousels were built for adults and children. They were the thrill ride of the day 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, they were before roller coasters. So that's why they go as fast as they do. And it's just a lot of fun for adults and kids. You know, our carousel is the only one that's truly for everyone. The brass ring game, the speed, er everyone enjoys it. Talk about the music that comes from it. Uh, does it come from the original paper scrolls? Yes, this is the original military band organ, it's called. It's got the drums and it's an actual wooden pipe organ in the uh, inside there, but it uses paper rolls like a player piano. These are the original rolls, which means <laughs> they're from 1910, you know, over 100 years old. and. Uh, we have technically over 100, but about half of them have deteriorated over the years. But we still have plenty that are still playable. So we're proud of the fact that you can hear the greatest hits up until until 1910. So, okay. yeah. there, there you go. <laughs> All right, let me ask you this. I know that you're, you know, you're physically fit here. I understand that you climb to the top of the carousel every morning. Why do you do that? We do that. We'll see. Our carousel rarely has any mechanical problems. It's because we take such good care of it, just the way they did back in 1910. Mm -hmm. And there's this, the whole carousel is suspended by cables. So a lot of weight is on this main bearing that's at the very top of the carousel. So one of the maintenance things is there's a oil reservoir, a glass container at the top. And every morning we have to go up there, fill it with oil. And during the day, every 10 seconds, a drop of oil drips onto this main bearing, which keeps it lubricated. And uh, that's how important they felt it was, wow. the manufacturers did. So, so you got to climb up there every mm -hmm. single day. And that, yeah. I mean, it's part of the maintenance. Uh, there's a day that celebrates you. Talk about that uh, and tell us how well, that happened. That was in uh, 19, uh, I mean 19, 2022. Uh, it was my 50th anniversary. Uh, Bill Brown Day or Mr. Bill Brown Day, whatever. I got a 
So that was a that was a special day for me. I got a proclamation from the mayor, and you know it was, that was kind of cool. It's nice to be recognized. Yeah, yeah. I mean you're one of those people that is part of the landscape of San Diego, and we're we you know we love seeing you there. Have you ever had any celebrities like people of note ride the carousel? But you yeah. oh wow that's so and so. Well, this might date me, and some people not, might not even know who I'm referring to. But back in the '70s, uh, we had a Dean Martin Christmas special uh, there. Dean Martin, Dom DeLuise, Ruth Buzzy, Shirley Jones. Oh, wow. And this big limousine pulls up to the carousel, and Dean Martin steps out with a drink in his hand, you know, just like you <laughs> <laughs> imagine him. And uh, uh, Dom DeLuise was the most approachable. He asked me about the brass ring game, you know, I was mm -hmm. explaining it to him, so it was pretty fun. Wow. Um, more recently, there was a Dr. Phil special there a few years ago, but okay. Dean Martin, I think, was the biggest thing. Right. But well, like I said, a lot of people, who's Dean Martin, you know? But, no, we know. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit more again about the events that are happening on Thursday. You know, give us the details. It's very special, 11, 11 to 5.30, and the uh, lines are long, so you want to, uh, you want to get, I suggest getting it early. Uh, days have been warm lately, so wear sunscreen. Uh, wait times, maybe 30 minutes, but like, uh, like I said, there's a lot of entertainment. There's people walking around juggling and people on stilts, there's music, so it's, even though there's a bit of a wait later in the day, it, it's, uh, it goes quick. People always tell me, uh, yeah, we had to wait, but it wasn't that big a deal. So, It's always down. a nice day at the park anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. All right, Bill, thank you so much. Yeah, well, what a treasure. We're, we're fortunate to have you in our city, and, and thank you for all that you do. And thanks for coming here. Yeah, oh, well, thanks for having it. me. All right. All right. All right. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about uh, Thursday and uh, National Carousel Day, we'll, we'll have a link on our website, fox5sandiego.com. Just click on the Scene on Fox 5 tab.